Well, nearest to the crowd, that's Jamie's girl and Mary Lamport. I think she's got a bit of harness trouble there. I think you've slipped the overcheck there, Mary. And just got up in front of the bus, number 25, is culprit time. This was the novice horse of the year, and ran very well in Ladlow a couple of weeks ago, where one of our old drivers, TG, Stephen Prover, showed him how it should be driven by impressively winning the not driver's race. Coming up now is number 23, Time Trapper, Chinatown Maori and Debbie Hitchcock. This is probably the fourth horse of the race. This horse won in Ludlow, uh, a heat, second in the final, won heat and final at Aberystwyth last. Um, so only 10 yards, three out of 10. Number 25, you're on the inside now. Inside of 10 with Colford time. You're three out, Debbie. Three out with Chinatown Maori. Now the final runner just coming out in front, Jane is green. Coming into the start, looks okay. Go! And away they go, and Jamie's girl in the lead, got a good start. Straight into second place goes Chinatown Maori. In third, Time Tower, and at the back, Colford Time. Round the first bend they go, and this is a little bit quicker, isn't it? In front is Jamie's girl, trying to make every post the winning post. In second place, about four lengths, five lengths back, is Chinatown Maori. Similar gap to Time Traveller, and then at the back, we've got Colford Time. Through the opening they go for the first time, and Jamie's girl putting her best foot forward as she did at Aberystwyth last Sunday. Chinatown Maori in second. A little gap opening up there into the other two runners. Time Traveller having trouble going this pace, and at the back is Colford Time. They're already at the end of the back straight for the first time. It's Jamie's girl swinging the corner and down into the dip. In second place comes Chinatown Maori. They've got a good 10, 12 length lead over Time Traveller and Colford Time. The back horses will want to get busy pretty quickly to catch these two. As they come past our starting point, it's still Jamie's girl cruising along in front. Jamie's girl, Chinatown Maori is closer. We get the bell. It's Jamie's girl, Chinatown Maori. Time Traveller being asked to take closer older, and on the outside, Colford Time. They swing down the hill into the back straight. Mary just loses another little bit of rain out of on Jamie's girl. It's Jamie's girl, but Debbie's sitting very, very comfortably there on Chinatown Maori. A gap back to Time Traveller, and Colford Time beginning to get in the races. Through the gap they go, and we still got Jamie's girl. Still two lengths, but... But Chinatown Maui is making ground and the back two are getting closer. Have they gone too quick, too early? It's Jamie's girl. On the outside, only half of the way is Chinatown Maori. The other two are gaining. Colford Time does finish. They come down into the dip. It's Jamie's girl on the inside. Maori is going for everything now. On the outside is Chinatown Maori. They swing into the straight. Chinatown Maori. I can still see Colford Time making ground in third place. They're halfway up the home straight. It's Chinatown Maori on the outside. Jamie's girl on the inside. Here comes Colford Time. Has Melanie time this right? This is going to be a very close visit, judges, as they flash past me. I think it's Chinatown Maori. Colford Time, Jamie's girl. But please wait for the official result. That was a very, very good trot and a very, very good finish. And I'll bring you the result as soon as it's made official. Number 13, Chinatown Maori. Property of Mr. Jones, Brian Jones, and driven by De Debbie Hitchcock. Second, number 25, the fast finishing, Colford Time. Driven by Melanie Ankford. And third, number 12, the long-time leader, Jamie's girl, and Mary Lamport. In a time of 222.94. That was an excellent race there for the great, for the novice.